All right, welcome back to the video game. Stoner beats the fucking shit out of Mega Man X. That's uh, that's what we're doing here, ladies and gentlemen. We're just kicking its fucking ass, pretty much, top to bottom. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's set the alarm. Okay. Well, I hope you have noticed that the video has improved again. Um, we increased the frame rate some more so the animation ought to be smoother. And I also removed compression from the AVI formatting so you don't see the AVI artifacts floating and stuff anymore. Awesome. So if anyone has any suggestions for how to improve my videos, please comment or send a message. As you can see, I use Hypercam 2 and SNES 9X. I've used ZSNES, but I like SNES 9X better for a couple reasons. Uh, I'd also like to know how I can get the direct audio of the game into the video, instead of the sound coming out of my amp and then into the mic along with my voice. If I could get the direct sound of my voice, that would be really great. Alright, armor and armadillo time. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this guy, I guarantee you. It's gonna be pretty fucking awesome. Baby, baby, baby. You know, this game, I don't want to sound creepy or anything, but it's kind of like an old lover. It really is. This shit, man. This is how you get this sub tank right away, by the way. Fucking sub tank action. And here's the hard hats of Mega Man X. They are actually fucking reasonable enemies in this game. God bless him. So what have I got? E-Spark. And the Ice Cannon. Uh, neither of them are all that useful here. E-Spark is kind of alright near the end on the last... Oh! me because he's so small. Keep on trucking, keep on trucking. That's if they drop me some health. You need it. Oh. No other Mega Man games, you wouldn't have any damage protection from spikes. It could be pretty rough. Yes. Yes. You hear that sound? the sound of an E-tank being filled. You know, they say E on the sprite, but in the book they call them sub-tanks. Uh, as you can see, I do forget a couple things now and then. It's not... I think I can get it, can't I? Let's see. Oh wow, look at that! It's been a long time since I've ever done that, guys. That's alright. Oh wow, that was all my lives. How about that? So I had a few more thoughts on Zero I wanted to share with you guys. You know, I rewatch my videos a lot. 
because um, I'm very tangential and I can totally lose my train of thought and shit, but I try to come back to it. Um, basically when I was talking about the pecs, it's just that they, they look roundish, don't you think? From... From the sprite on screen. We're actually farming a little bit here because this one bat, most of these bats are kind of a new model that's reminiscent of the old Mega Man bats. But this one bat right here, for some reason he has a ridiculous one-up drop rate. So you're learning some secrets of Mega Man X here, guys. You wanna fill up on your fucking lives? Do it right here. Look at that. Three in a row. Pretty fucking awesome, huh? Um, and most Mega Man X games have a couple of secret little spots like this. Mega Man X 2, that garbage weapon, <coughs> there's a couple of weird little nooks or crannies in a few levels here and there, notably in the underwater level, where you use the garbage collection weapon and it sucks in shit tons of energy. And that's great for your tanks. Filling up my tanks. It's not quite full yet. So. And you don't really see, about zero, you don't really see um, a portrait type image that includes those pecs. So it just, I don't, you know, I just thought he was a girl. Basically, um, I muttered something along the words of Samurai Model when I was talking about Zero, and uh, I want to explain what I meant. Basically, I was talking about like an anime archetype, Samurai Girl kind of archetype you see in anime. Um, you mostly see two varieties. There's the cute Samurai or Ninja Girl, which obviously is more popular uh, but you also see sort of a mature samurai girl kind of character and I know you know I can visualize this kind of archetype in my mind but for some reason I'm having a really hard time I can't think of any particular names and it's largely I think because I don't really watch that kind of anime very much Oh yeah, there's no sub tank there now. Come on, you little fucking hard hat. Um, you know, I'm, there might be something in Naruto or Samurai Shampoo or Inuyasha or uh, oh, remember Kenshi, Ruroni Kenshin. That's what it's fucking called. There's probably someone like that in there. I don't give a fuck, because I got awesome drops. Look at those drops. Ridiculous. Oh yeah, these hard hats in this game, um, if you turn away from them, they instantly attack. So that's great. Good way to get them out of your way faster. Oh, some of you may be wondering, those of you who are more familiar with this game, um, may be wondering if we will be seeing the Hadoken in this playthrough, and the answer is yes, you most certainly shall. There will definitely be some epic Hadoken action. Hearts in space. Ah, I don't know if you like Joy Division or not, but I don't know. They're pretty awesome. I think that's a line in a Joy Division song, isn't it? But I've always found that bat right there to be kind of tricky. He has a good way of getting you in the spikes. So if you have trouble with that, there's no shame in it. That spot always gets me. I'll admit it.
Oh well, whatever. All right, armor and armadillo time. Means we're gonna e-spark the shit out of him. This is gonna be sad, you guys. You're gonna love this. I might get hit a couple times. Oh yeah, climb up the wall, doofus. Yeah, suck it. Oh my god, he got me. Wasn't paying attention to my E-Tank. That's okay. That's okay. No problems. Wait, what is Z-Mapped to? Is Z-Mapped to something? Sometimes these controls get fucked up. No? Okay. fucking hard time with him sometimes. Nice. I could have um, wall dash jumped around him, but I'm still having some trouble with these controls. In all honesty. But there's armor and armadillo. I got him. And I got fucking what seven lives. Got my sub tank. Got two hearts. Things are looking pretty good, except for this faggy ass color here. <laughs> um. The weapon acquisition screen, how awesome is that shit? That's so much nicer. I mean, it shows you the weapon. Sometimes it doesn't show you everything it does. Like, I remember in Mega Man X2, you get Crystal Snail's weapon. And it's like, it shows you the weapon acquisition screen. And X just shoots like this blob. And it just kind of does the, uh, the bubble lead arc. Or the snake searcher. The search snake arc. But falls through the ground. And you're like... What the fuck? But you actually hit an enemy with it, and it turns, if they're uh, like a small to medium sized enemy, they'll, this crystal will form around them, and oh my god, Crystal Snail's weapon is so fucking great in Mega Man X2. It's like a utility item, and it takes care of all kinds of fucking enemies. The charged up version is awesome. X1 and X2. Definitely gonna play through them. In time. Okay, we got Armored Armadillo. That means... Well... Technically... Launch Octopus. But to be honest with you, Launch Octopus has kind of been like one of the sore spots for me in Mega Man X. Because, I don't know if it's me... But I have never quite got the hang of using Armored Armadillo's Rolling Shield against Launch Octopus. It just... It doesn't quite work. Not the way I'm trying to use it anyway. Um, <laughs> so I have a little trouble with Launch Octopus. I might do... I don't know. I might be able to take out Storm Eagle. He's a little tough. Oh, that's that's all the time we got for today. Next time, I'll fight somebody. That's for sure. Thanks for joining me.